here. This double headed arrow that is kind of in a circle next to, so we're on your dashboard. The double headed arrow that's in a circle is telling you that you need to do updates or an update on the website. So this is a very important thing to do or to know because we're not on WordPress.com anymore. They're not doing all the updates for us. So this is one of the responsibilities that we're gonna have to take into account that we have to do updates. So click on that double headed arrow that makes a circle and it will show you what are the things that you can update. You can update WordPress version Okay, we don't need to do that because that's up to date. It's telling us that's up to date. You can update plugins and so far it's telling us that's the problem. We have a plugin that needs to be updated or you can update themes, okay? The way I normally do it is I think about it in that core is the first thing that you update because core is like the base of everything. It's your foundation of how WordPress works. So you want to always make that sure that is updated first because if you update it in kind of like a uh, willy-nilly I don't care which order I um, update things in you could be updating something that needs core to be in the most current version and so then it can cause a problem with the website so if you have core update core first then the themes sit on top of core that give you the look and feel of your website and then the plugins give you extra code. So the way I always update is I do core WordPress. Okay, so anything, anytime WordPress needs to be installed, that's always the first thing that gets to be installed. Then if there's a theme that needs to be installed, the theme is the next thing that gets installed. And then the last thing is I install plugins one at a time to make sure that everything works. And then I just click on the plugin, press the word update, and it updates the plugin. If I go back to my updates, it will take me back to that page and it will not show me anything. That um, circle made out of the two arrows is now gone because I don't have any updates that need to be done. Okay, we're looking at the dashboard. You have just signed on to your website and you have your dashboard. When you look at the very far left side, this sidebar over here is the main menu of the WordPress application. And everybody that initially installs WordPress, the WordPress application and all of the options that you will see will be dashboard, post, media, pages, comments, appearance, plugins, users, tools, and settings. If you go to a WordPress site that you have and there are more options there, you have more than just the core WordPress loaded. So that is a first sign that you have more than just core WordPress loaded. You have um, WordPress plus plugins and plugins are extra code with WordPress. So that is something to be very aware of. Um, the name of your website will be at the very top and then you could have that circle icon that we saw when we did the update. You can have this plus new that will allow you to do a new post, um, a new page, um, add new media or users. Um, I have the DSCLI because I am working on a locally hosted environment with ServerPress. Then you will have your username and then underneath the username is help and screen options. And if you click on the triangle pointing down for the screen options, it will open up the screen options and allow you to turn on and off the different screen options that are in the center of this display here. So if I just start clicking and turning off all of these, um, so as I uncheck them, they all go away and I have nothing left. So if I want to have the site health and I want the at a glance available and maybe activities and maybe WordPress events available and that's all I wanna see. So I like to use the four headed arrow and move these around 
based on where I want to see them. I definitely like at a glance in sight health just right at the very top here so that I can see that everything is okay with my website. The next thing is to see the activity and what is happening with your website or the events. Um, you have the availability to open or close these. So if these are toggled closed with the triangle that is to the far right here, that will have them all closed. And so you have the availability to toggle these open and closed. And as you add more plugins, you will have more options to add to the initial dashboard here when you're looking at it. So just be aware if your dashboard has more options here than the one you're seeing here in this video, it's probably because you've added a plugin that allowed for another item to be seen on the dashboard. And if you don't see something that you expect to see because you added a plugin, you might have to go over here to the screen options open this up, the triangle here, and um, check the option that you want to see. And then it will display the, the menu item or the option in the middle of the dashboard here for you. When you're looking at the dashboard, the at a glance and site health, like I said, are the two I like to look at really quickly. And why I like to look at them is if you look at at a glance, it tells you how many posts you have, how many pages you have, and how many comments you have. Then the line underneath it says what version of WordPress you are running and what theme you are on. So that is very important to know via at a glance. The other very important thing is whether you're discouraging search engines. And this means whether you're allowing the search engine to index your web page or not. The site health information, if it comes here and it has time to check your website, it will tell you whether you have problems on the actual website itself. A lot of times you just need to do updates on um, WordPress, the themes, or the plugins. It will also tell you if the hosting server is having problems and it will tell you if they have out of date versions of PHP or Apache, which is very helpful to make sure that the site health is good. So those are the two that I really want you to be very, very aware of. The others are pretty much self-explanatory. The uh, activity is just the activity and things that are happening on your website. So you can kind of see if people are working on the website or doing things, creating pages or posts or adding media. Um, and then the WordPress events is just the events in your local area. So that is very important to know.